I'm a co-owner of Le Canard Boulou, a company that specializes in the production of foie gras and duck products. We're based in a small town 30 minutes outside Quebec City. Sebastian and I were lawyers and we practiced law for two years, mainly in temporary positions. Sebastian's parents became interested in ducks and foie gras and they decided to raise a dozen or so ducks just for the fun of it. So it became a tradition in the family and how I fell in love with the product. We had always wanted to live in the country and start our own business, so the idea of producing foie gras came to mind, especially since that type of production was uncommon in Quebec at the time. It's a large industry in France, but not here, so it went very well. Today, six years later, we own three farms, raise 5,000 ducks at any given time, have 23 employees, and we're forecasting over a million dollars in revenue this year. Foie gras isn't a recipe like liver pâté. The duck liver actually transforms through the overfeeding process called gavage. In France, a duck that undergoes gavage is called a canard gras. A duck liver usually weighs around 60 to 70 grams. After we're done with gavage, it can weigh 500 to 550 grams. The texture is wonderful, like butter. We produce several typical French products, but also make some Quebec-based products. Overall, we have about 30 different products, all made solely with duck meat. It's never cut with pork or other meats, and we don't add any chemicals. We're very proud of the fact that we control the production process from A to Z, from raising the ducklings to sales and distribution. We work the elasticity of a sac or pouch at the bottom of the duck's neck. The duck fills this pouch a bit more every day, which is how it grows. When the ducks are 12 weeks old, they are ready for the gavage feeding process. We use a type of spout that we place in the duck's beak and we fill the jabot to the top every 10 to 12 hours. This way the duck is continually digesting food. After the gavage period, the ducks are ready to be processed. We process the ducks every Monday. On Tuesday, they're cut up, deboned, and packaged. Some are sold whole. All the meat is used in our various recipes. At the beginning, to sell my products, I went to visit the head chefs of restaurants in Quebec City. We also did a commercial on one of the large stations. The host really liked our products. When we got home that evening, our answering machine was full of messages from people who wanted product. Word of mouth always brings new clientele to us as well. Whenever I need to attract new clients, I phone restaurants, butcher shops and grocery stores. I introduce myself, then I go meet them in person. I usually bring samples of our products to taste and leave them enough so they can let their employees taste them as well. We make good products. People like them and they sell. I keep good relations with them and that's about it. It's that simple. Being lawyers from the city who wanted to get into agriculture unfortunately didn't help our credibility. We started off with a $10,000 line of credit and our own savings. Each year, when we had an expansion project, we did a business plan that showed our financial status compared with the predictions we had made. This demonstrated that we obtained our objectives and it was how we got a bit more credibility with the banks. We also have shareholders, people we knew, who invested a bit of money in the business. We're very proud to show them that they had confidence in the right people. Our major operating costs are the purchase of the baby ducks and employee salaries. These costs are constant and ongoing. We find it important for our products to have soul. 
For us, this means we hire a lot of people from the area in order to participate in the development of the region. Our secret of success is to surround ourselves with competent people to ensure we meet our quotas. And there's always someone working on short-term and long-term projects for the business. You must prioritize what's most important. Some things are urgent, but not important, and some things aren't urgent, but are important. You have to decipher things and do them in the right order. You always need to have something on the go, because if there's nothing to do, something's wrong. Keep the interest level up and stay organized so you don't lose the passion that was there in the beginning.